Hey, Island Hut video, uh, end of week two. Uh, right now, I'm right in behind the garage area um, where I showed last week uh, the little living quarters. This is the back side. You can see where I framed uh, framed uh, the back wall of the garage in there. Uh, this space here, of course, was the uh, part of the original lumberyard store where you can see the service counter, etc. in there. Uh, this has all been cleaned out now and uh, will be used for uh, storage um, of the contents of the house. They'll be coming over here to uh, store everything while I'm doing the renovation of the house. Of course, I don't uh, want any of that stuff, you know, in, in, uh, in the house while I'm renovating it. So as you can see, I've already started storing boxes and stuff in here. So this will be all be used for um, taking care of all that stuff and then the two rooms out here because the roof still leak with a little bit of water coming in I can't really use it for any of my furniture but what I've got set up here um, will be work areas where uh, I can uh, you know mill up material and stuff for inside so I've got my uh, saws all set up in here table saw and everything plus I'm also using this for storage that's the uh, hardwood flooring uh, for the house, uh, new toilets and some other things. So every time I see uh, something on sale, I go ahead and buy it and pop it in there. I'll do a quick run to the house to show you it. Uh, it's really windy outside, so uh, gonna be a little breezy here. Give me one second. Sorry, got a storm front coming in, so I was supposed to get a bunch of rain uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, this area here is is the laundry room. Uh, I'm going to really get working on this soon because uh, I'm going to be moving in here in a couple of weeks and I need to have laundry services while I'm living here, so I'm going to start working on this area tomorrow. Uh, new flooring, the whole nine yards, get it all tidied up as much as possible so at least it's, uh, you know, I don't have to do a whole lot of work in there uh, once uh, I get going on the rest of the house. Uh, if you, as you can see in here, I'm in where the kitchen used to be. Uh, the center wall, which uh, used to be right there, is uh, missing and that's the way this area is going to be now. So I'll just pan around here, give you an idea of what it looks like. So it's going to be one large, one large open room. So you can see I've got junk and garbage everywhere, the, a new bin coming tomorrow. I've also uh, got the upstairs, as you can see, I'll walk over here. All the walls, the drywall is all off from upstairs, so you can see through all the rooms. The only areas that still have drywall on them are the closets. I'm not going to remove any of the closets because uh, they can just be touched up. There's no point in re-drywalling any of those. Um, you can see all the drywall is just piled up there. And uh, I got that back wall in there to do because I uh, can't get to it right now. Uh, so once the bin comes, I get all that, then I'll go ahead and finish it up. Um, got the uh, little bit of framing tidied up. Uh, this is uh, going to be the bathroom, the main bathroom in the house. So we got it all framed in here and uh, ready to go. And then the room in the back where the window is, so I'll walk around this way. Uh, from the uh, master bedroom looking this way uh, I'm gonna leave it open like that and that's gonna be a walk-in closet but there won't be any door on it It'll be left open so that the uh, light from the window uh, will come into the bedroom as well so it'd be an interesting look uh, I guess well it's my idea anyway we could find out what happens later on so you can see everything's been stripped off here so finding all kinds of treasures, uh, pipes that are uh, taped together instead of glued. So, and I'm pretty be happy to see that. Just what you want to see on a vent stack, you know, all taped together. And then uh, as you come downstairs here, got the drywall all stripped off of this yesterday. And I wasn't planning on making any changes down here in the basement, but uh, a lot of the walls were in really, really, really poor shape. That's where the uh, 
the storage was for all the bookkeeping and uh, stuff like that. So I'm just going to remove what I need to remove and then I may just redesign down here. Uh, there was lots of water in here, there's a lot of damage along the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip it all out and then decide what to do with it uh, when I get that far. Anyway, end of uh, week two. Uh, lots more to come. So a tear out probably for another two, two, three weeks and then we'll start putting it all back together. Uh, that's it for now. Stay tuned.